I'll be fine. I was a big fan of Miss Kano, that's true, but before that, I'm your manager. Smiling back at Manabi, she regained her calm manners demeanor. Ryo leaves the room with her. No. My best friend! <laughs> All bubble-blowing babies must be beaten senseless by every able body present in the parlor. Alright. The situation gave her an odd sense of deja vu. Deja vu! I've just been in this place before! Higher on the street and I know it's my time to go! Calling you! <laughs> the labor- labor- laboratory? Laboratory? Is this where they make meth? Oh my god, does Kana make meth? Someone cooked here. <laughs> Rio rubs the spot gently, only to have a bit of scarlet paint cling to her hand. I knew it. Some- And that must be the red on his sleeve. So it wasn't blood, it was red paint. Chapter 3! Why do I get this one? It, this one kind of feels like it's gonna be shorter. I don't know. The last, uh, the last chapter felt like relatively long. But then again, I guess we were solving two murders. Well, one of them wasn't actually a murder, but technically we had two deaths in the last one. So I guess, um, there's that. But even still, because we technically had two deaths in Yagamo's second part, you know, with the Kuromochi case. Hmm. I don't know. Unlike earlier, the parlor was filled with officers. The room was filled with a frantic atmosphere. With Ryo discovering the basement, they were on the verge of identifying the real crime scene. Inspector Mamba stands imposingly in the center of the room, watching over the officers as if it was the most critical moment. The inspector's really into this, huh? Well, I mean, it is his fucking job. <laughs> Be a piss-poor detective if you can't solve a case. Well, even if they know what the crime scene is, that doesn't mean they can immediately pinpoint the real killer. We don't know how the corpse was moved to the hollow yet, after all. Hmm, yeah, that's true. I feel like if we could figure that out, we know who the killer is. Hmm. Well... So... Let me, let me, let me, let me give you my, my ideas as of right now. Uh, I, I do think she was killed in the suffocation room. That, that, the fact that we discovered that, or whatever the hell, the, the vacuum laboratory, whatever the hell it's called. I don't even know what the fuck you need that for. I get, oh, I guess it's for the pneumatic system, right? Now that I think about it, I'm assuming that vacuum, like, lab is probably for, like, at least part way linked to, to the pneumatic system and how they can like, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? Something to do with that. Um, also, I, I guess on a side note, as far as clues, I'm assuming that howling we heard was probably the, 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 the vacuum laboratory in action. So that's probably the moment she was killed. I guess now that I think about it. Yeah, because that would make sense. But that was after the party. That's after we all went back to our rooms. And then and then we all went out to search for Kana. So I'm assuming that's the moment she died. Was that, that howling that we heard last night. But regardless, back on track. Unfortunately, the, the only people I can see right now as far as clues. It would be Hiroko, her secretary, and Sochi. Because I think those are the only two that would know about all the secrets of the house. So who else would have known about the elevator going down and shit? Unless Tomizawa, you know, being a mystery author herself, discovered a lot of the secrets to the estate while, while at her time here. But judging from the clues, I think it has to be someone who lives in the estate. Because you would have to know how to get down to the basement. And you'd have to know about the elevator, is what I'm saying. So that really only leaves people who live in the estate and know the, 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 blue, the blueprints. And unfortunately for Hiroko, I mean, she literally drew the damn pr prints. So, like, she truly knows this place like the back of her hand. So, unfortunately, I'm almost starting to believe it was truly her. And also... 
I hate to bring up this because this is also a jump to conclusion, but she was the one that first discovered Kana. It could be just easy for her to carry the body over because she was separated from the group when we went out searching for Kana in the woods. She wasn't with us. She could have easily brought the body out. Or even at... Because she was the one who went and grabbed us, remember? She was the one that entered our room and says, I can't find Kana. So it'd be real easy for her to kill Kana in the basement, then bring her up, put her in the hollow, then gather all the guests, and then know exactly where to find her body. I know it's a big stretch, and I'd, I hate to be one to be like, oh, I, I, I know everything, but it's starting to look less like Sochi. I think Sochi was just, you know, he's doing his own thing. I don't know. I Unless Sochi's an accomplice, but like I, I can explain the blood on his sleeve. It was probably just paint. And yeah, sure, I know he's a relative, but he really doesn't have a motive. I don't believe the whole like, oh, he gets the estate. Because he, dude, the dude's such a shut-in. I'm sure like having people around to greet guests and stuff like i don't know i just i don't see the motive clear as day as like oh i get the estate now like what who the fuck care dude he was drawing a picture of his sister i don't know like it just i think he did actually care about his sister he's just a shut-in i don't know personally that's my opinion i haven't spoken to the guy we don't know his true personality and intentions but i really think this dude's just a quiet kid and he's just caught up in the wrong place wrong time my suspicion lies more on Hiroko, but I don't know what kind of fucking motive she would have besides, like, she's been hiding in the limelight for too long. And she hates, like, she actually despises Kana for, like, being in the spotlight and she has to take care of Kana, pretty much. That'd be, like, I, they were best friends. Like, I don't, it's just, it's a, it's a really hard, like I said, it's a stretch, but, like, with the pieces that we have, it makes the most sense. Because, like, anyone else, like, take us, for example. Like, we couldn't have done it because we don't know about the elevator. We were blindfolded. We didn't, we didn't know where the fuck the elevator was until just now. So it's like, I feel like only someone who knows ins and outs of the entire estate is probably going to be able to commit this murder. And I kind of even brought that up, too. Like, at the very beginning, when we were going through the mansion to begin with. I was like, dude, it, they're going to... There's so many Willy Wonka traps in this damn mansion that, like... The killer is going to probably be someone who knows this place inside out and knows all the secrets because they'll be able to kill, most likely get away with the murder because they're not going to reveal those secrets and they're going to, but they're going to know about them. I don't know. That's just my two cents. But again, because who knows, maybe, maybe the this this weird this is going to be such a like far-fetched weird motive that kana wanted to die and have people like solve her murder maybe she's not actually dead and i don't fucking know but i'm just saying unfortunately to me hiroko is the most suspicious right now but we'll see But at least I'm able to, like, piece together, like, the clues. Like, I feel like I'm spot on when I'm piecing together the clues. Like, the growling sound was obviously the, the vacuum room. Kana was probably killed in the vacuum room instead of just normally strangled. The, the, the blood that was found on Sochi's sleeve was probably just paint. So I, I, I think I'm at least making the right connections, hopefully. At least I hope I am. I'm not a very intelligent person, but... I do like myself some murder mystery. Oh, thanks to you two, we can identify the real murder scene. Really, we're grateful. So, the crime scene really was down there in the basement, right? Yes, we checked the vacuum laboratory, and we found fa faint luminal reactions on the inner side of the door. She likely scratched at her neck while she was suffocating, leaving blood on the door from her fingers. You mean, she was running out of air and tried to open the door? And then, that's how it seems, yes. That's gruesome. I knew it was a murder, but that's too aw- uh, I- That's gruesome. I knew it was a murder, but that's just too awful. Dying in such a- Such a terrible way? It's too much. Monaby. We're doing our- We're doing our best to arrest the perpetrator. 
That's the minimum amount of respect we can pay the victim. That's right, Monaby. We'll definitely find the killer. Let's avenge Miss Kana's death together. R right. I'm sorry. I let my feelings get the better of me. Anyway, we're doing everything we can, so we appreciate if you can tell us if you learn anything relevant. Roger, sir. Yes. Um, so do we go back down then? The cloakroom. The elevator couldn't be there, could it? So could... She could go in there in the middle of the party without anyone suspecting. Yeah, that's pretty clever. Oh, oh, we're just starting. Okay, I can exit. I don't think... Did I ever go to the reception room? I don't remember ever going to the reception room in the f for, like, for the investigation. I guess there was no clues there. As soon as they stand in front of the reception room, they could hear people arguing. Rio realizes she's better off not going inside. She opens the door to crack and... Ch uh, to a crack and checks what's going on inside. I keep telling you, even if you say that, I just can't... I can't just do that. Yes, but... Try putting yourself in my shoes here. We already put in the advertising expenses for the next book. And we can't just say it's nothing... It's not coming now that... This late in the game. We could publish it as a... Po uh, Posmanthus manuscript if... We do it now. Please, work with me. Think of as, as retouching it. Don't be unreasonable. If I can change Miss Kana's style, the fans will be upset. Well, where there's a will, there's a way. You can come up with tricks for most of her works anyway, right? Uh-oh, Hiroko came up with the tricks for Kana's novels. That's the first I've heard of that. Hiroko came up with the tricks for her books? Having thought that far ahead, Ryo exclaims in realization and wheels around a face to Monobi. She's concerned that a huge fan like her might be shocked at having some face-to-face -face with such a big secret about the author she likes. But Monobi's expression was as collected as ever. Mm. Monobi? It's fine. It's not that surprising, you know. The tricks weren't, aren't that major of a part of the mystery novel's charm. The important part is how they're used and the literary style that describes them. Oh, I see. That's good then. <laughs> Uh-oh. I, I fear that I might actually be spot on with who the killer is. Because now it also makes... And I, the motive now makes sense. If Ezino is trying to like get Hiroko to write Kana's books now, that would... The motive could be that she's tired of being in the limelight. Man, I really hope I didn't just guess it right. I've, I've been pretty good at guessing who's who it is like before it happens. But man, that I feel like this was this is way too, this is way too early. There's no fucking way, man. Oh, man, that hurts if it's actually her or God. <laughs> but I mean, with that clue that that gives her the motive then. That, that confirms that that's a motive. That she could have done this because she wants to be like the next Kana. And it also shows that she, she was the one who wrote Kana's tricks. So the mystery part of Kana's novels were written by Hiroko. Which also makes sense because she made the blueprints to the estate. And adding all those gizmos and tricks... Only an expert could really, like, plan out architecturally how they want secret doors to be put. You know what I mean? It makes a lot of sense. Man. Oh, my God. It really... It really... I, it makes... I really think it's her now, man. If it's not her, that I, I will officially be thrown for a loop. If it's not Hiroko, I will be thrown for a loop. I can't... I can't think of anyone else that could have done this. Because I think... Tok uh, uh, I was it. I keep.
forgetting I'm saying her name wrong. It's like to to Tokizawa or whatever, the the old la the older lady, the other novelist. Um I think her being the killer is just too much of a stretch because you're basically saying she has to know about the elevator. I mean, whoever the killer is has to know about the secret tunnels. So unless she was like a keen eye detective or some shit like that and figured it out and then somehow managed to come up with a way to kill Kana while she's figuring out how her estate works, I don't, it's, again, it's too far-fetched. The clues really line up that it's Hiroko. Fuck. I may have just deduced it. But we'll see. We'll see. I, I'm not, I can't count my chickens before they hatch. Rio signs a relief at Monaby's reaction and carefully closes the door. I may have already just cracked the case. Cracked the case. Tomizawa. Okay, I, okay, right, 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 right. Actually, wait. We haven't, because obviously, as I know, is talking to us, so yeah, actually, we don't, let's see what Tomizawa has to say. Maybe we can bring up the fact that we think it's just paint that was on his sleeve. Because she thinks it's Sochi. But I don't know, I think she might just be a little, like, you know, elderly and losing sight. <laughs> she's she's kind of going a little off her rocker if she thinks it's Sochi. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Ryo arrives at Tomizawa's room and is immediately ushered in. But much to Ryo's surprise, she finds another unexpected person in Tomizawa's room. Oh, hello. <laughs> Kono? What are you doing here? Oh, oh, I invited him over for tea. The police make the parlor quite noisy, and I was no had nowhere to rest. That's when Miss Tomizawa kindly invited me over. <laughs> I see. Yes, I would assume the parlor is in quite a mess right now. So unless we get some kind of clue from these two that like drastically changes my perspective of what's going on. Uh, I hope the police lift this house arrest within a day. Who knows? Our identities are all confirmed, so I don't think they can't keep... They can't keep us here indefinitely. I should hope so. I'd rather not sleep on a piece of cardboard again. How's your store doing? You run a restaurant in Tokyo, right? Yes. That sh should be fine. I have my dependable assistant chef I've been training, so I trust everything is fine with them. But that said, this doesn't mean I can stay here for that much longer. How's your store doing? Okay. So, how's the police investigation going? Kano told me they discovered a basement. Yes, looks like it. We haven't heard of any new findings yet. Hmm, but I hear they think the room the crime took place in is down there. Right, Kano? Yes, they said something like that. I only heard bits and pieces of the conversation. So... So that's why, seeing the way they act makes Ryo realize that Tomizawa invited Kano over. Shio Tomizawa is likely trying to get information out of Kano about what the police are doing in the parlor. She is a mystery author, after all. She can't help but stick her neck in. Not like we can judge her, since we're playing detective too. Well, it looks like my theory hit the nail on the head after all. Hmm? What do you mean? Well, only Kana and those close to her knew about the basement, right? Oh, oh, my, oh no, oh no, don't go there, don't go there. Neither of, neither of us knew about it. In which case, that makes Sochi all the more suspicious. He knew about it after all. I mean, that is true, I suppose. I don't want to rush to that conclusion yet, but I get the feeling saying that will just make things annoying. <sighs> They hit the knee. Okay, the, I'm guessing this is... Don't want to rush to that. Oh, man. And the fact that she just said that... Mm, I don't think it's Sochi. I think it's Hiroko. Oh, tits, man. I might have just hit the freaking nail. I'm, I think I hit the nail on the head of the coffin. And it makes sense because she knows the estate. She literally drew the plans for it. Motherfucker. <laughs> did I crack the case already? Mamba, I know who did it. Soichi Gayo. I don't know why, I've just been saying that, like, even though it doesn't, it literally it means no, that's wrong. It's not, it doesn't mean like, you know, oh, I was right. 
I just like saying it. I miss it, dude. Dude, truth bullets were just so freaking. Oh my god. I I Dong and Rumpa really knows how to like get your get you on the edge of your seat. I don't know. I just even just the the nonstop debate stuff was so fun because it was just like finding the error in judgment and then just like literally firing a gun at their statement was I don't know. There was just a lot of it was it was over the top and fun and it really like made you like a part of the action you know what i mean like it kept you engaged it was like oh shit no switch you got yo that's wrong <laughs> i don't know it was, just, it was just fun anywho can we actually go to sochi's room now we need to question this fucker the two of them stop in front of sochi's room i get the feeling we came here for no reason again are you sure we can speak to him we saw the studio in the basement i think we can manage it somehow Oh? Leaving behind Monaby, whose expression turned quite quizzical, Ryo approaches the door and speaks. Sochi, we need to talk. It's important. Please, open the door. But the only reply she gets is silence. We saw your painting of Miss Kana in the basement. Ryo can hear something move slightly behind the door. The one who drew, I mean, the one drawing that painting was you. Right, Sochi? Please, open the door. A moment of silence, and then... Come in. The door opens with a grave, heavy sound. Sochi's room is cluttered with objects strewn all over the place. It couldn't be called a clean, hygienic place. Still, Ryo assumes she shouldn't compare a guest room, meant for a temporary residence, and a personal room. How did you know I was the one drawing it? It's of Miss Kana standing in front of the estate. I don't think Kana could have drawn it herself. So I knew the only artist in the estate who could have drawn it was you. That studio, it was a room Miss Kana prepared for you, right? Sochi, please tell me. Miss Kana cherished you so much. Where were you when she passed away? I don't want to say. The way this is going, you're the only one without an alibi. They might decide you're the killer. Tell the truth, if only to dispel the suspicion. It looks like he won't talk, no matter what. Then I won't back down either. Oh shit, are we going into max mode? Were you in the studio? Drawing while it happened. That painting is still fresh. The paint wasn't even dry. Yesterday, you went to the studio to finish that painting, right? You probably wanted to finish your birthday present for Miss Kana on time. That's... Tomizawa told me. She said your arm had blood on it. And she started blaming you when she saw it. Right? A visible shiver ran across Sochi's face. No, that that was... It's fine. I get it. What Tomisama saw on your arm wasn't blood, right? It was actually red paint, right? That paint clung to your hand while you were painting. When you heard Miss Kana died, you ran off... You ran out of the studio and forgot to wash it off. And unfortunately, Tomizawa saw it. And the fact she suspected you made you scared. And you ran. Am I wrong? Sochi remained wordless for a few more seconds before eventually deciding to part his lips. You... You figured out that much. If it was blood splatter, it would have been on your clothes. But Tomizawa only saw it on your arm. But it makes sense you'd roll up your sleeve while painting. And it got dirty while you were working. It... Happened exactly as you described. Kana made that studio for me. I'm too antisocial, so she had it built for me, so I couldn't, I could paint freely. So I, I wanted to draw her that painting as a present, to show her how grateful I was. I wanted to make her happy. A tear runs down Sochi's cheek. But, but why? Why did this happen? Sochi. The only thing I was good for was drawing. I thought participating in the party would just drag her name through the mud. So that's why you shut yourself off in the studio last night. Sochi gives a short nod. Why didn't you speak up until now? 
If you just explained that it was paint and not blood on your arm, we'd understand. I'm bad at talking. I thought I... I wouldn't explain it right. I thought if you'd misunderstand anyway, I might as well. And I might have left Kana to die back then, too. What do you mean? I left the studio to go to the bathroom when I saw the vacuum laboratory door was closed. And there were noises coming from inside. But the noise stopped. So I thought I just imagined it. And walked away. Fuck, it, it was. It was Hiroko. It was. It has to be. It, she's the only one. It has to be. Because I believe him. I believe he was, like... He just, it, there's, the motive just doesn't make sense for him to kill her to get the estate. I don't know. I mean, he must be a really fucking good actor then if, if, if that tear was fake. I, I really think it was Hiroko. Fuck. <laughs> well, I'd only, only open the door back then. Kana might have been saved. And the thought scares me as much. Is the door to the vacuum laboratory usually closed? Yes. The vacuum equipment is shared with the pneumatic system, so it stays closed at all times. So it stays closed at all times. Hmm. The vacuum equipment uses the pneumatic system! I'm trying to think, how would that clue link? How would that clue link? Is it like that? That's that's her way of like getting her out of the office, maybe like bringing her down. Well, I mean, she was at the party. But at least I was right that like the obviously having the vacuum laboratory, it's it's meant for the pneumatic system. I'm trying to think how fuck how would that clue link? Ah, uh, my brain's not working anymore. Uh. All right, let's just keep going. I see. The pneumatic system uses the vacuum to transport things, so they share the same vacuum equipment. Yes. If that's the case, you shouldn't blame yourself. If the doors usually close, you wouldn't notice something is wrong. You really think so? I do. The only one who should be blamed here is the killer. And if you're not the killer, I can't imagine Miss Kana blaming you for it either. Really? Sochi crumbles to his knees and starts sobbing. The two leave the room, leaving him to his sorrow. I don't know, I mean, he would have to be like a first-rate actor, to, and usually antisocial people I don't know if are like the... Well, I can't say that, because sometimes antisocial people are very good at, like, judging others. You know what I mean? Or like, you know, perceiving other people's character. But, I mean, that was a fucking good good acting on him if, if that was all fake tears. So, I'm, again, I'm, 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 I'm so dead set on Hiroko. I'm so, at this point, I will, I will admit my mistake. If it is not Hiroko, then I, this, this twist has twisted my butthole. I'll say that. The, then the twist has re really got me. It really got me if it's not Hiroko. Because I genuinely can't think of anyone else that knows the plans to the estate, that knows about the elevator, that could somehow get Kana to be down there, that, that probably has act, because I think that's what the second library is for. I'm assuming that's like almost like Hiroko's little office space as well, or like she can use that. And like, and, and just the fact that I don't think it's Sochi, that alone as well, because like, obviously Sochi is, is in the same boat. He knows of the estate. He has his own little room down there, so he could just as well. But I, I am, I am leading to believe just at how the other clues are. I just can't. Cause like the whole paint thing makes sense. I mean, it explains everything. I'm just saying, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... I 
I mean, is there anything else? Because obviously, Esno and Hiroko are in the reception room. We already talked to them. Can we go back to the part? We, we need to check the third floor again. Oh, right. Now that we know they're like the whole pneumatic system clue. Maybe now's our chance to like re-go to the third floor and, and check her like study out. A number of police officers march hurriedly through the parlor, led by Inspector Monva. <sighs> but damn it, both the manager and Sochi, the two of them had to have known about the basement, but they kept quiet about it. They didn't mention it? No, not a word when we questioned them. We didn't imagine there'd be an elevator hidden in a place like that. Hmm. Well, I don't know if you can blame them that easily for that. Hmm? What do you mean? Why not? I mean, the body was found in the hollow. They didn't think a place in the estate would stay only people who live here know about could be related. Hmm. I suppose that makes sense. But since they knew about the place, that makes the two of them very suspicious. I do agree. Especially now that we, yeah, I mean, they hid the fact to cover up their murder. And then they, she, I, I agree with them. I agree with them. It makes them look very much suspicious. But the fact that, like, this dialogue is being brought up, now, I don't know. I just feel like there's, there's gonna be a twist. I'm missing something. It's gonna be like fucking Kano or something. You know what I mean? It's gonna be like, oh yeah, technically, uh, technically Kano showed me the blueprints as well. So I actually knew the layout of the estate when she invited me over. So, and I killed her because I, I, I want money. Even though I said I didn't need money. <laughs> I don't know, man. God, I just, I need to get to the solution. I need to know if I'm right. I, I, need to, I need to know. I need to know if my deductive reasoning is correct, man. I can't. It, it, it burns me. I can't, I, like, I just, I feel like everything else I'm getting, it just, ugh, it doesn't, I don't need it. I just need to know. I need to know the answer. <laughs> the cloakroom. The elevator couldn't be there, could it? She could go in the- oh wait, no, I already read that. Is- what- is it? Can't- Is there really nothing else to- I mean, I didn't- I technically- alright, alright, we'll, we'll- we'll humor. Huh? There's no sign of Ezino in the unlocked room. Leaving the room without locking it is pretty careless. But with Ezino gone, there was no point in staying in the room any further. Ryo leaves the room quietly. There's nothing here. What? What do you? What do you want from me? 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 Upon returning to the room, Ryo stretches as she utters a complaint. Oh, it's been one thing after another since last night. And my body feels so stiff. I feel like I'm going to collapse on my bed any minute now. I feel the same way, but if I lie down now, I feel like I won't be getting back up until tomorrow. Ah, oh, totally. We should solve this now while we're, all the people are still involved are still here. Or it'll take forever to solve this. Let's try again. They always say in crime dramas that the initial investigation is the most important one. Uh, is the most important one. Fuck, I keep mixing up people. You do get it, don't you? Come on, let's investigate one more time. <sighs> All right. Rio slaps both her cheeks to fire herself up and hurries out of the room. There's- where do I go? What about investigating the freaking next- uh, <laughs> They press their ear to the door and hear that Hiroko and Ezino are still arguing inside. <sighs> we better- we're better off not sticking our necks into the minefield of this situation. Rio leaves silently without touching the door. There's literally nowhere else to go. I, I don't know what you want from me, game. Let me fucking go to the third floor. Cloakroom elevator. Could do without suspecting. That's pretty clever. Cloakroom. What the fuck do you want? Mamba, speak to me. Speak to me, lad. But damn it, we've already gone through this dialogue. Where do I- what the fuck do- what do I do? Where do I go? Talk to Sochi again? Like, 
I, li I dude, I literally don't know where to go. I I've, I've literally investigated everything. Transformers are on Kano speaking. Tea cups in hand. Looks like my theory hit the fucking nail on the dick hole. How's your fucking restaurant doing? Oh my, dude, I am actually lost. Where do I go? Like, just let me investigate the fucking room. It's gotta be Sochi's room. There's no fucking way. Okay. Sochi, it's Rio. Rio knocks on Sochi's door. Perhaps their earlier conversation broke down the wall he put up because Sochi greets them meekly, albeit with swollen red eyes. Okay, all right, Jesus Christ, I just need to talk to him again. Well, I, we left the dude crying on his knees. Like, I didn't think there was anything else further, but all right, whatever. <sighs> Is there anything else you need from me? There's something I forgot to ask you. May I? We think the only ones who know about the basement are you and Hiroko, the manager. Is that right? I think, assuming Kana and Hiroko never told anyone else. I see. Then one more thing. On our first day here, Kana showed us the third floor. She said the view from the rooftop was lovely. Does that mean there's a way to the rooftop? I don't know. Even you don't know, Sochi. No, Kana said the way to the rooftop was a secret only she knew about and wouldn't tell me. I see. That's enough, though. Just knowing that there is a way up there is good enough. That's all I wanted to ask, Sochi. Thank you. Huh? Um, uh, Rio? Rio hurries away from the room, leaving a perplexed Manabe behind. Manabe follows her after, a f after her in a flustered manner. Okay. Now are we good? Yes. Okay. Hmm. It really does bother me. What is it? Manabe, you had your camera running with when Kana drove us drove us here on the first day, right? Of course, visiting her house is a once in a lifetime memory. Can we go back to our room and check that footage? Huh? Rio, wait. Rio hurries out of the room, ignoring Monaby's flustered reaction. Monaby hurriedly follows after her. Upon returning to the room, Rio and Monaby use the camera's preview function to examine yesterday's footage again. Which scene do you want to see? Hmm, I want to see the part where you recorded the panoramic view of the Capricious Hall. It'd be best if we got it from a distance. Right, then how about this part? Oh, that's great cabaret. Leave out that cabaret. And what about, what about it though? What direction is the hollow we found the body in relative to this footage? Hmm, the road we took there curved, so it should be this way. It was probably by a side way from the driveway. Hmm. I knew it. It has to be. Did you find something out? Yeah, but I'm not sure yet. I think we'll figure everything out once we go to the rooftop, though. The rooftop? Yeah. There should be a way up to the rooftop somewhere on the third floor. Let's find it. At times like these, letting Rio do her own thing was usually the right choice. Knowing this, Monaby simply nods and leaves the room with Rio. They ziplined her body over to the <laughs> Yo, I swear, if they fuck if they really did zipline her fucking ass. <laughs> That'd be hilarious though. Oh, police officers, yada yada yada. Alright, we should be able to fucking go there now, right? Yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. There are two officers standing in the cloakroom, but there's a tape to specify they weren't allowed to pass. The officers thankfully say nothing as Rio boards the elevator. Sweet! One-way ticket to detective land, I guess. Well, here we are. This is where Kana brought us on the first day. Right, it was two days ago, but feels like such a long time. Anyway, if there is a way to the rooftop, it has to be on this floor. Let's try and find it. Yes. Alright. Um. Hmm. Hmm. 
Well, I mean, if there's a secret, wouldn't it be in her room? I don't, I don't know. I, I'm sure we're probably going to have to go through all this shit. It's Kana's study. Unlike last time, when Kana was here to show them around, the room felt awfully dreary without its owner. There are probably materials for writing. Sitting on the table are documents that look like they were copied off some book. What's this? Essential Iron Mine articles? Looks like these are some old documents that were copied in the National Diet Library. There's a summary sheet here. Let's see. Kana Yago is said to be a patron god of iron manufacturing, an unusual god with a fondness for corpses. It is said that by decorating its Tatara furnace with corpses, it produced high-quality iron. It looks like Miss Kana wrote this memo, but it's a bit different from what she told us at the party. Yeah, the nuisance is a bit different from it seeing our out sacrifices. And it says nothing about it roaming the mountains for new ones. And since it's a god of iron for iron manufacturing, it shouldn't have anything to do with the Awami silver mine. I suppose she dramatized the story to make it more of an exciting horror story for the party. Looks like it. She went as far as to make that en make that entrance, so I can imagine her being this devoted to keeping us ent entertained. Yo, are the Kana feet pics still on here? <laughs> Ryo and Manabe peer into Kana's PC. The monitor is dark, but it's probably in sleep mode. With a few strokes of the keyboard, the screen comes alive. Looks like it's not password protected. I guess she figured outsiders wouldn't find this room, so she didn't care much for security. Forget that. Ryo, this file might be... No way. Is, is this Miss Kana's newest work? Looks like it. C can I read it? Monami clearly forgot they were investigating and shifted back to being just a fan of Kana's. Ryo cracks a forced smile and agrees. Yeah, L yeah, let's read it. It might hide some hint. <laughs> right, this is for solving the case. We've got no choice. The two spent some time reading through the file containing Kana's newest work. Kana had seemingly only written the intro because the file was only 10 pages long. This is, this is, it's unfinished. But it looks like the protagonist is plotting to become successful by murdering to, sac murdering to sacrifice someone to Kano Yago. I get it. So Kana used the party to introduce her new next works concept. Looks like it. She probably casually mentioned the concept to gauge our reactions. Could be. But between the ghost story and the tricks in the capricious hall, Miss Kana really was an entertainer at heart. Of course she was. That's what made her such a successful first-rate author. Yeah, I can see why you became a fan of hers. Maybe I should pick up her novels sometime, too. Really? Then once you finish reading, we can stay up all night talking about how great her work is. I, uh, think I'll pass on the all-nighter. The bookshelves are stacked with technical manuals. Among ones, one among, among them sticks out. An old handwritten notebook. This notebook? It's Miss Kana's. Flipping through the pages, Ryo sees schematics with memos attached to them. I think it's full of ideas for her tricks. Ah, here's the tricks for using the food trolley, the same one Kana used at the party. And the last page says, Ryo's breath catches in her throat. She slaps the notebook shut and turns her gaze to Manabe. Upon confirming Manabe isn't looking at her, she stuffs the notebook in her bag. Excuse me? You're not... Hello? What did you just discover that you're not explaining to me? Is it the trick for her, like, recent, like, her murder? Like, stuff him in the vacuum tube and kill him? Stuff him through the- They stuffed him through the pneumatic system! <laughs> I knew it! Soichi <laughs> Gaio! Uh... Alright. Well, I guess let's double take everything then. Uh. Other than the documents, there are only normal writing implements on the table. There's nothing else out of the ordinary here. As Rio says that, she peeks below the table and lets out an erratic screech. Huh? What the heck? There's some weird tanks down there. It looks like a plastic tank. What? is it doing under the table? 
Beneath the table were two large plastic tanks. They were closed with large lids. That, wait, was she gonna gas people? <laughs> Their transparent flank showed the tanks were full of some kind of liquid. The label says dichloromethane? Is that how you say it? Dichloromethane? Dichloromethane? Dichloromethane is a type of colorless chemical with an acute smell that usually that's usually used as a solvent. Wait. I mean, her body's into No fucking way. Wh ain't, ain't no way you're gonna tell me that she was actually gonna plan to stuff her through the pneumatic system. Ain't no fucking way, dog. Ain't no way you were gonna dissolve her body and stuff her through the pneumatic system. <laughs> Ain't no way! No! Why doesn't she have a dissolving solvent in her fucking... <laughs> what is this for? <laughs> they really were gonna fucking dissolve someone and stuff them through the pneumatic system. There's so much of it. What was she planning on using it for? Maybe to investigate some trick? There's still quite a lot of it. The two stood there, lost in thought for a few moments, but eventually came up with nothing and decided to leave the tanks as they were. What the hell else are they- what- what the freak? Standing in front of the PC monitor, Rio is greeted by a large number of email notifications. That's a best-selling author for you. She's getting so many emails. There's nothing there relating to the case, of course, and Ryo knew better than to read someone else's emails. It's like one of them's from Yagamo, that'd be kind of cool. That'd be a way to like link them, like, oh yes, I need a, I need a novelist to help me plan out my, 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 this, the plot for my next film. Ryo walks away from the PC without touching the emails. <laughs> she was- dude, that'd be fucking sick as hell if she was actually like, you know Yagamo gets those spam emails from that fan asking for- for like 500,000 yen or whatever? <laughs> Imagine if it was Kana this whole time. She's just sending it through like a fake email. I did a- I did a spiritual ritual at your house the other day. I I'm sorry, you did what? <laughs> there isn't anything else in particular that stands out. Alright, alright, we're done here. Well, I guess we should go to my number one prime suspect's room next. This is, this is the manager's room. If she lives here, maybe Hiroko knows how to get to the rooftop too. Of course, they can't go into a room that belongs to someone who's still alive. The two close the door without touching anything in the room. Why not? What if we discover something? Tana's room? Maybe she had secrets? Maybe it's in her room. Ryo finds what looks to be Kana's room and reaches for the doorknob. But the doorknob only rattles, and the door shows no sign of opening. Looks like it's locked. Hmm, I figured the passage to the rooftop might be in Miss Kana's room. But we can't force our way in. Let's give up on this room. Hmm, I guess. Alright, then I guess it's it's gotta be the- Dude, ain't no way. You put a secret entrance in your fucking bathroom? Oh, maybe, maybe it's, it has something to do with the griffin statue. <gasps> oh my god. And then it opens up a secret passage to the hot tub. The, the, the hot, it's a hot tub time machine. <laughs> like the last time they saw the bathroom, they find the tub is filled with clean water. We couldn't, f <laughs> it, should it be filled with anything else? <laughs> I filled mine with ranch. <laughs> we couldn't find any way... Oh, we couldn't find any way up to the rooftop in any of the other rooms, so it has to be here. Well, we never entered Kana's room, and we didn't explore Hiroko's room, but, I mean, it would be pretty freaking cool if there was a secret entrance in her bathroom. Here? You mean in the bathroom? Yeah, in other words, this is Miss Kana's private space, I guess. Don't you think it's a perfect place for Miss Kana to hide a secret passageway only she knew about? When you put it like that, I guess it does. When you put it like that, like that, like that, you right. So let's check this place out a bit more thoroughly. Well, you see... If I had to guess, it's gotta have something to do with it. I'm, I'm just saying, this thing is probably the only thing that stands out in the room. 
Unless you tell me that she has a secret switch in the bathtub, but I feel like that would be very impractical because what if you're actually bathing in there and then you accidentally open it because your butt like hits the, you accidentally butt dial your secret passageway or something. You know what I mean? So it's got to have something to do with the statue. Rio reaches for the relief set on top of the pillar. Rio couldn't easily reach it with her height, but she stands on her tiptoes and somehow manages to touch it. Hmm? Is this? What? There's an odd feeling of texture there. Like something soft. Soft? Monaby reaches for the relief with a dubious expression. You're right. It is soft. What is this? It feels like... Euthane foam. Or urethane foam. Whatever. It feels like fucking foam. Oh, right. That's what it feels like. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it a buck with you. When I'm like... If I were to describe the texture of something, I wouldn't go for, like, a specific object. Like, hmm, yes, this feels like nickel. Like, no, it just, it feels hard. I, 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 I don't know. I, that's just me. Like, the, the way they're, like, you know, hmm, yes, this feels exactly like, I can't think of anything, what's something specific, like a texture. <laughs> this feels like a, a velvet suede bathrobe up here like i don't know like who the fuck does that <laughs> i don't know like i just hmm, yes this feels soft this does feel foamy it feels you know quite cushiony or something i don't know that's how i would describe it i wouldn't say like oh yes this this feels like 35 karat gold or something <laughs> you know what i mean like that just seems this seems way too specific to know like exactly what it that feels like i don't know <laughs> How can you smell if a sandwich has been cut in half? <laughs> now listen here, you fat son of a bitch. <laughs> How can you smell if a sandwich has been cut in half? <laughs> oh, right. That's what, it, that's what it feels like. But don't they usually make reliefs out of plaster or something similar? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure Miss Kana specified that this material should be used. So can I do anything with it? Hmm. There's writing under the eagle here. An eagle watches over the birds sipping at the watering hole. That's what it says. What does that mean? Doesn't it just mean the eagle is protecting the birds while they drink? That's pretty on the nose, and there's no birds here. Maybe it's from some kind of poem. No idea what poem it could be referring to, though. Hmm. Putting an inscription like... This here feels pretty unnatural. There wasn't anywhere else in the estate that had any, any engravings like this. I guess examine the pillar? Huh? This pillar looked like it's made from a different material compared to the rest. Rio raises her voice... Rio raises her voice upon touching the pillar under the eagle relief. Monobi also touches it, and indeed the area around the pillar feels warm, unlike the coldness of the plaster. See? The material feels different. You're right! It seems like it's made of some light material. I wonder why. Why is it only this spot different? Touch it again. Rio, look, under the pillar, it looks like some kind of panel. You're right. It's not like the gutter. It's not positioned on the floor. What is this? Touch it again. <laughs> this weird panel isn't only on the pillar with the eagle relief. I think there's some special meaning to that. Touch it again. <laughs> this weird- okay. There's some meaning to that. Bathtub? Bathtub? The bathtub's water isn't hot. It's cold water. This tub's a, a circulating model, so I think you just need to flip the switch before you get in and it heats up the water. But is there even a point to having cold water in there all the time? I don't know. It probably looks like a waste to us since we're commoners. The pain of being... The pretty Borg... 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 Borgius? Borgios? I'm guessing some rich person term. The bourgeoisie, I don't know. The Borgias, huh? Borgias, Bo Bo Georgias. Bo 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 <laughs> I don't know. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know that word. Hmm. This is weird. Something's off about this bathroom. There has to be some kind of secret here. Rio, 
Nanami parts her lips to speak, but Ryo silences her with a raised hand. Oh, you're really staring into my soul there, buddy. <laughs> when she looks around the entirety of the bathroom one more time, there's some kind of weird trick to the way this place was built, which is an eagle relief made out of urethane foam. A tub that's always full of water. A pillar made out of light materials. And an eagle watches over the birds sipping at the watering hole. The birds sipping at the watering hole. Ah! I get it! Birds that drink drinking birds! That's that that's right! A a drinky bird! A drinky bird? Right. Haven't you seen one of those bird-like toys with the kind of not they kind of bob their heads up and down? The entire jacuzzi room is one huge drinky bird. Ah! And drinky birds are built so there's red fluid at the bottom of a device. I get it. The di- Oh, the dichloromethane. Oh. So they got to But how does the drinky bird work? Does the statue like actually like droop, like droop down and drink from it? I guess. Ah, there was there were some in Miss Kana's room. Right, just wait, I'll go get some. Monobe hurries out of the bathroom, excited by Ryo's discovery, heading for Kana's room in a light jog. After a short wait, Monobe returns with one of the plastic tanks from Kana's room. Ryo takes it and reaches for the panel beneath the pillar. It should be here, see? Ryo opens the panel and reveals a space just large enough to get some plastic tank inside it. She pushes the tank into the space and it clicks perfectly into place. I guess that's the right answer after all. It should be. One minute passes, then another. The two stand with bated breath, but wait as though they might, nothing in the room seemed to change. Huh? Were we wrong? No, it can't be. That's the only use for the diachloromethane could have. Ah! What? Were you wrong after all? Hmm. To get drinky birds to work, they're supposed to pour water on the bird's head. So... Let's do this. Rio scooped up water from the tub and splashed it on the eagle's relief. Oh, because the foam's gotta soak it up, right? After being doused with enough water, the relief changed color, at which point Rio stopped. This time, it should work. That's what the foam was, right? It's probably gotta like seep the water in. The two of them gazed fixedly at the relief. Their impatience made them, made time to grind an, an irritating crawl. However, ah, Rio exclaimed. As if her voice was some kind of signal, the eagle relief slowly pitches forward. Bam! Un until its beak reaches the water in the bathtub. You did it, it worked! The drinky bird's tilted was oh the drinky bird's tilting was likely some kind of switch, because as soon as Monami raises her voice, a metal ladder descends from the ceiling. Ah! Uh, uh, Alright, let's put a mark on it, it with some lift Wait, let's put a mark on it with some lift uh, lift up tape. There. After pasting a piece of tape that says diachloromethane below the pillar, Rio raises to her feet. And so the two of them discover the method to raise the rooftop. So what's on the roof then? The solution- oh shit, we're in- alright, this is it baby, this is where we- this is our- this has gotta be like the big discovery. Ryo climbs up the ladder, and finally reaches the capricious hall rooftop. It was likely done so it wouldn't be seen from the outside, but there's no fence surrounding the wide, spacious rooftop. Whoa, this is spooky. It's dangerous out here. You could fall if you're not careful. Ah, oh, but we still have to investigate this place. Rio approaches the edge of the rooftop with unsteady, faltering steps. She approaches a massive ventilation duct sticking out from the edge of the roof. That's a pretty big exhaust pipe. Feels like someone could crawl in there. Um. 
I'm going to let it play out. But I, I, a thought just crossed my mind and that'd be pretty fucking crazy. It's probably for the pneumatic system and the vacuum laboratory use. Must be. Yeah, and the killer probably used this. Huh? Monaby turns around and real points at the exhaust port's duct's port. There's something there that was definitely added in later. A machine part that looks like a pinwheel. It has something like... Is, it has something like a weird wire wrapped around it. A weird wire wrapped around it. Hmm. I'm trying to think, what would that... To attach to the exhaust shaft. So, to create... Would that be for, like, shutting, shutting off the emergency stop? Maybe that's how the emergency stop got implemented? Because... That's part of the, like, ventilation wheel. So I'm assuming they stop the ventilation wheel so that way if you hit the emergency stop in the ventilation laboratory or the vacuum laboratory, it wouldn't work. I'm assuming that's what that is for. It's like I thought. Rio, is this what you expected to find on the rooftop? Right, except it's actually even more elaborate than I imagined. All right, Monaby, it's time to avenge Miss Kana. Let's gather everyone in the parlor. Rio. Rio? The pulley on the rooftop and the wire marks on the... Th oh, the pulley on the rooftop and the wire marks on the tree near the hollow. The piano strings on the rooftop and the vacuum laboratory. That's the only answer that makes sense. At that moment, all the points connected to form a single line in Rio's mind. She takes a deep breath. Her mind feels endlessly clear, and the truth that felt so distant is now within arm's reach. Is it though? I'm, I'm still trying to like piece. D did did they really zip line her body? <laughs> I'm I'm trying to because I I would assume the scratch marks were like her. Well, that's true because now we discovered that she was killed in the. So hmm. Dude, maybe, maybe they actually did fucking zip line her. <laughs> That's crazy. Guess it would make sense. And, well, I mean, it, that's... Assuming that they used a thin wire, I mean, could you... I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I, I, my, I know who I'm suspicious of. But I guess I do gotta, like, try and figure out how to piece everything together. Together. Um... But I, I, I feel like I do know who it is. I do, I do done diddly do believe. I, it, it just all points to Hiroko. So if it's anyone else, I will be entirely shocked. I will 100% without a shadow of a doubt in my mind, that would be a fucking twist. Because she's the only, she, you, you have to know about the estate. You have to know all the tricks and gizmos. And I don't believe Sochi did it. So the only other option would be Hiroko. It's just that I'm still trying to piece together how it was done. I'm still a little fuzzy on that. But, guess let's do it. Several hours later. All the people involved in the case are gathered in the parlor. Rio spoke to Mon Mamba ahead of time, who ordered everyone to attend. Sochi showed up, albeit with a terrible, uncomfortable expression. Everyone looks uniformly nervous as Rio walks to the middle of the room. Hello, everyone. Thank you for gathering here. I solved the case's mystery entirely, and I would like to share my conclusion with you all. Whoosh. A rustle runs through everyone. Wait just a moment. Did you really solve this case? That means you know who the killer is, right? Yes, I already figured out who the killer is, and that person is... Yeah, okay, yes, I, I was right. I was right. You're the only one who could have done it. I was fucking right. Thank God. Thank God my intuition was like, I mean, there's no one else. Literally, you would have to know the secrets of the house, and I don't think Sochi did it. Like, they really narrowed down the killer in this one. If, it, if there was more options, like she wasn't killed with the house's gizmos, it would be a different story, but there's literally only two people who know about the contraptions and I don't think Sochi did it. I, I believed him when he said he was just painting and 
her dying was literally him like thinking it was just some noise coming from the room and not realizing she was literally dead on the other side. Anywho, you, Hiroko Mizukami. Another rustle passes through the room. But as it does, Hiroko alone stepped up to Ryo with an air of composure. Damn, she was a she was a baddie too. Ryo, I hope that when an amateur like you says they've identified the killer in front of everyone like this, it's because you have a good reason to. Yes, you can definitely assume that. Then let's hear it. I have an alibi. I was at the party during Kana's estimated time of death. Everyone present here can attest to that. In which case, how did I go to the hollow and kill her? That's simple. The hollow wasn't this crime scene. It wasn't? That's right. There's traces of that here in the estate. In other words... Uh... The vacuum equipment uses the next. The vacuum laboratory's emergency dot button. Oh, is it my... Well, I'm assuming it's the stop button. Oh, right, because it would have her fingerprints. It would have her fingerprints on it. The vacuum laboratory in the basement. Gasp! Vacuum laboratory? There was something like that in the estate? There's an emergency stop button inside the laboratory in case someone gets trapped inside. But someone broke it. In other words, Miss Kana was shut in that room and forced to suffocate to death. Just because someone broke the button doesn't mean it was necessarily murder. Luminol reactions were discovered in the room. Miss Kana scratched at her own, her own throat out in suffocation, resulting in traces of blood. Really now? If the police found Luminol reactions in the room, then the possibility is worth examining. Someone called Miss Kana to the vacuum laboratory, closed the door, and activated the vacuum device. All they had to do next was wait for the vacuum to form. So they only had to spend time on they only had to spend time on getting to the room and pressing the switch. In other words, they all they needed all they need is a short amount of time out of the party. I understand so far, but do you have proof Miss Kana went to the room that night? The button could have broken for a long time now, and the blood stains that made the Luminol react could be just as old. No, I have proof that Kana left the parlor and went to the basement that day. Hmm. Proof, huh? What proof exactly? Uh, Kana wasn't seen leaving the parlor, correct? She wasn't seen leaving the parlor. Kano can attest to that. Miss Kana didn't leave the party through the entrance. Kano can attest to that, and we have footage to of a fixed spot in the party that proves it too. But she still left the party somehow, which means that she had to use the elevator hidden in the cloakroom. Oh, I see. So you had footage. Damn, it's not looking good. The killer probably came up with a reason to have Miss Kana meet them in the vacuum laboratory and followed her after. Then they trapped Kana in the room, switched on the vacuum device, and left her to suffocate to death. Just a moment, I understand that there's a good chance she went there, but in actuality, we found her corpse in the hollow. Doesn't that mean you can't establish the laboratory as the scene of the murder? You can't say for sure the blood marks that caused the luminol reactions were there before the murder. It's simple. That night, the culprit that killed Kana in the middle of the party carried her to the hollow after the party ended. Hiroko's eyes widened at re See, I knew it, because she would have perfect time and she was the one who came to our rooms and told us that Kana was missing. She was also the one to first discover Kana. It had to have been her. Hiroko's eyes widen at Ryo's words, but she soon starts chuckling as if she just heard what she heard was simply too outrageous to be true. <laughs> and where was I? Wondering what you'd come- and here I was, wondering what you'd come up with. I guess that's as far as your fake detective work will take you, to think you were trying to pass off this whole written fabrication as the truth. See, everyone's just as shocked as I am. True at Hiroko's words, everyone else, who had watched over the entrance with their breaths held so far, regards Ryo with dis disappointment. Ryo didn't pay it any heed, though. She carries on with her words. I'll say it one more time. After the party ended, the killer secretly carried the corpse 
to the hollow. Ha! <laughs> Since you're sticking to that theory, I suppose I have to say that, even if I might end up embarrassing you. Okay, no one left the estate at ever since the party ended until we went out to look for Kana. We already checked the security company's records and the camera footage. Isn't that right, Inspector? Hiroko turns to Manba for approval, who nods with an expressionless face. With that confirmation, Hiroko faces Ryo with the smile on her lips. See, the Inspector says so too. Or are you going to say there's some secret passageway? Try putting that in a mystery novel, heh? <laughs> the readers will complain to no end. No. Of course there's no secret passageway. The killer used a certain trick to carry the body away. And that trick is... Uh, a pinwheel with a wire trap. I mean, I don't really know how it exactly works. But at the same time, I didn't know how, like, I didn't know, like, fully how the water trick worked in the last one. I just knew that there was some kind of ice or water put in the fishbowl to cause it. So... Honestly, this is going to be new to me. I don't I, did, I don't know if she did zip line her body or some shit. I don't know. But I mean, this this is it. I this is the evidence. The rooftop exhaust nozzle and the pinwheel shaped part attached to it. Huh? Super mega e gasp. Hiroko can't help but suppress an exclamation of surprise, and the way she did serves as definite proof for everyone else present. Even if they didn't quite understand what Rio was getting at. I mean, I don't even know what she's getting at. Oh, it was it? So it was a zip line. Body stuffed bag. What the fuck? Well, how the fuck did they get her out of it then? <laughs> There's a significant difference in elevation between the capricious hall and the hollow we discovered the corpse in. The killer took advantage of that. And they had piano strings serve as a ropeway, employing a pulley to move the corpse to the hollow. <laughs> Then they pretended to look for Miss Kana when the rest of us, uh, with the rest of us, all while pushing the corpse to the hollow along the side of the road, and then, uh, and then screamed. As a result, they moved the corpse to the hollow without leaving the estate. In other words, the only one who could have done, who could do it, was the first person who discovered the corpse. You, Hiroko. <clears throat> Everyone else stirs once again. Their gazes then turn cold, but even so, Hiroko still tries to offer a final bit of resistance. Wait, if that is true, the piano strings would have stayed at the scene, wouldn't they? It doesn't matter how you cut them, some strings would stay. If the strings were drawn all the way, drawn all the way to the estate, the police would have found them. That's what the pinwheel set in the exhaust duct was for. It reeled back the string, collecting it. The piano strings were tied to the other end, after all. There were signs that the tree and the crime scene were chafed by something. So, w one of the strings was tied to the hollow and the other on the capricious hall's rooftop, at the pinwheel in the exhaust duct. All they had to do is cut the string in the hollow. The device's exhaust would then spin the pinwheel, automatically reeling the strings back. Gah! <laughs> that's... That's... Hiroko. Just give up already. You thought no one could get into the rooftop and plan to quietly collect everything from the rooftop once the police were gone. But when we figured out how to get to the rooftop, you had already lost. <laughs> yes, it seems so. Truth is revealed. And I freaking called it. God dang it. I'm sorry I spoiled I'm sorry I'm just good at what- But that one was an easy one. Because it's like, there was literally only two possibilities from the clues. It was literally only people who knew about the secret contraptions and parts of the estate. And I just believe that Sochi didn't do it. So it's like, it left us with one person. So it's like, it literally, it was so easy to deduce. And then just putting all the other clues together, it's like, it literally pointed to her. But, I don't get it. Why would you kill Miss Kana? You were such good friends. I told- I told you a bit about that, right? I knew- I knew her- I knew her ever since literature club, club in high school. We would think up tricks, write novels. 
But at some point, our positions changed. At some point, I just became Kana's assistant. But I always thought I'd come up with some great trick and surprise Kana. And then I did. Kana consulted me about tricks for this house. And I came up with something. And when I did, I wanted to put it to use. And I wanted to surprise Kana with it. First and foremost. Why was that? That was your reason? But, no. Maybe I was just jealous of Kana the whole time. We started at the same place, but at the same point, I was left behind in the shade. And that frustrated me. And I, I always, always had a grudge against her. Ever. Since. Hiroko. A silence settles over the large parlor. A single tear streaks down Hiroko's cheek. If this was a mystery novel, this would be the last scene. After all, there is a detective right around the corner. I only figured out I only figured out this trick because there was evidence left behind in the hollow and the rooftop. I think this trick's flaw is that it's hard to get rid of the tools you used for it. With such a large machine on the roof, getting rid of the tools without anyone noticing is difficult. But only people who know about the trick in the bathroom can go to the rooftop. But put another way, if someone were to find proof on the rooftop, they'd know only those who knew how to get to the roof could be the killer. And since the killer wouldn't assume anyone would get up there, they'd carelessly leave fingerprints on the tools. Right. That's exactly right. When I came up with the trick, I was absolutely positively sure no one knew. But it turns out I failed. Actually, I wasn't the only one who knew about this trick. I wasn't the only one who knew about this trick. Huh? Ryo to took out a notebook. It was the one she took out of Kana's room earlier. That's a trick notebook. It's an idea notebook Miss Kana wrote when she was still alive. Read it. This is... Kana and I thought of this one in high school. I can't believe it. She actually kept it written down. Like it's important. Hiroko reads it fixedly, taking every single page, and her hands stop upon reaching the final page. The trick on the final page. It's... Yes, I think Miss Kana thought of this one on her own. And don't you think it's very similar to this trick? A method to carry a body over distance without leaving the building. Creating a line from the roof, using rope to carry a corpse. This is... Right, the actual tools and the murder method aren't written here. But overall, it's almost identical. And at the end of this page, there's a comment from Miss Kana. To perform this, one must create a situation where no one enters the rooftop. That's because all the proof would be there, making it easy to deduce the trick. <clears throat> Kana, she knew everything about the trick I came up with. Everything, down to its flaws. More tears roll down Hiroko's cheeks, then flow unbated, forming smudges on the notebook, and eventually... <coughs> <laughs> Hiroko raises her voice in what can only be described as a howl. Manabi gently taps on her shoulder, patiently waiting for her to get to her feet. Oh, Mamba, I said Manabe. Epilogue. Rio and Manabe leave the capricious hall behind. Looking up one last time, the building strikes them as somehow extremely desolate. In the end, what was a howl we heard during the night of the murder? Oh, that uh, that time when I told you about Kano, ya Yagu, Kano Yago and you got scared? Stop editing your memories like that. You were the one who got scared. Mumble, mumble. Anyway, I think I know what that was now. The growling was the sound of the vacuum device operating. See, I was right. It was? Yeah, I thought it was the wind, but when we went out to look for Miss Kana, the air was calm and silent. In other words, we could only hear it inside the estate. So that's what it was. Yeah, so at that moment, she, she was dead. 
Miss Kana probably would have been sad to leave a novel half finished. If I was in that position, I'd like to leave a work behind. Stop that. That's ominous. Mm, it's, you know, just a thought. Stop thinking about when you'll die. You're going to be a great actress that, that'll stay in the spotlight until you're at least 80 years old. Whoa, that sounds bothersome in its own way. <laughs> Monaby, I'll become a great actress. Good enough to make you admit how great I am. So please, stay by my side and support me until then. Bow. Rio justly bows her head. Monaby watches over it warmly and bows her head the same manner. Yes. Let's stay partners in the future, too. The two of them raise their heads, exchange gazes, and then look away awkwardly at the same time. <clears throat> now then, star actress, how about one last line to pull the curtains on this? Again? A great actress wouldn't complain there. Ah, uh, fine. And so we put a capric the capricious hall behind us, but we were unaware of the next case that awaited us. And what was that throw? <laughs> it's like, you know, to be continued next week. <laughs> A serene breeze blows and catches Rio's words and laughter, carrying them with it somewhere into the distance. And there we have it. Rio part two is complete. I'm actually curious to see the flow after this. Because um, I'm wondering if that was the end of Rio. Because it didn't look like Rio would continue on. But you know, my thing is, I'm starting to get to the point where it's like, when the fuck is everything going to get connected? Or is nothing actually connected? Are, are these just a bunch of, like, random murder mysteries we're just solving? Because, I mean, in a sense, I'd be like, that's just kind of lame. Like, I figured all these would, like, connect somehow. Like, I, I thought, like, Ryo and Yagamo would somehow, like, meet up at some point, you know? But part of me just feels like this is literally just going to be one long, like, you know, oh, people die and you got to solve the, the mystery. And that's it. Like, there's just real no link connection to it. But you know what I'm curious about? Well, that's true, because that would have thrown, that would have thrown her plans probably out as far as, like, discovering the body and, like, um, the, t the estimated time of death. But I was like, why, why didn't, why wouldn't, uh, uh, Hiroko just let someone else discover the body? Because her discovering it really, like, pushed my idea that it was 100% her. Because it's like, oh, well, you know exactly where the body is going. So, like, oh, lo and behold. I mean, it's, a, it's an easy trope. Because most of the time, like, killers are the first, you know wants to discover their their own you know crimes because that leads them to usually have an alibi if you you can somehow make it to where oh hey look guys i found this body you know it kind of draws suspicion away because it's like you almost give yourself an alibi like oh it can't possibly be you because like you literally found the freaking body you were there with us but I know it's a trope that's used that like the killer is the first to discover their body to make people aware of it so that way they can set up a better time frame for like the police to be like, oh, well, the estimated time of death and how they managed to drag the body to the hollow. But obviously, like the fact that, you know, because we, you know, an ordinary person isn't expected to discover like the rooftop secret and everything. So that's the true downfall of the killer, but. But anyhow, yep, I, I was, my suspicion was right. We don't have any more Rio parts, so the only thing left to do is to get on with Max Yagamo again. Honestly, I, I'm going to keep it a buck. It's been quite a while since I've, like, voiced all these characters, so I, I sure hope I remember people. I mean, as long as I think remember the main trio. 
But then again, I like I forgot like Abuse kind of has been around. And freaking... Yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll see. It's the only option we got, so let's freaking get into it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> 